Hey you guys! Hey, how is everyone today? Welcome to Maker Studio. This is Kim and I blog over at Salvaged Living. But today I'm hanging out on Maker Studio and I am so excited to be here. I am so happy to have you guys with me. Um, I would like for you to say hi, please, in the comments. It makes me feel better. Nobody should craft alone unless they want to. Sometimes I want to, but today I don't. So you guys say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I I feel like there's new friends here that are different from the people who watch over on my page and I want to get to know you guys. So I'm going to jump right into this fun project that we have. If you have kids or grandkids or you just want to pamper yourself, the um, having a beautiful bedroom in my opinion is really nice just to have that retreat at the end of the night. And I think that these mesh art stencils are perfect to make some decorative pillowcases for your bed and for you or um, this one's going to be for my daughter but you could very easily make this for yourself there's so many great patterns so i'm just going to get started i am using this new stencil it says you are my sunshine i know it's backwards sorry that's just the way the camera does it we're going to have a giveaway though you guys anyone who shares this i need you to come back in the comments and tell me that you shared this video with a friend or somebody to your page, whatever it is, and you're going to be entered to win a free stencil from a maker studio. So they will pick a winner and they will let you know. But this is a really, really sweet stencil. You are my sunshine. We're going to also use this paired with the gel art inks. I don't know if you guys have tried that yet, if you've ventured away from the chalk art, but. The gel art ink's pretty cool, you guys. It's basically um, very similar to the chalk art if you've used that, but it's permanent and it's for fabric especially. Um, I'm gonna tell you all about how to use it, how to heat set it and all that good stuff, so just stick with me. But we're gonna do this little project together and then I'll get into that. I'm just gonna start off with this pillowcase. Now, you guys, you can use any kind of pillowcase you want. There's Inexpensive ones at Walmart, you can get different colored ones. Um, there's stencils that are perfect for males or females. There's a lot of really beautiful deer stencils and things like that that Amy has in the store. You could make those for your, your guys, for your men. Um, these are great Christmas gifts, great teacher gifts. If you are looking for just that special housewarming you know, favor when you go to dinner at someone's house or something like that, Pillowcases are just one of those things that you can really never have too much of. So I did iron my pillowcase before I started because I wanted a nice clean surface to work with. You guys say hi when you hop on, okay? Um, I would really like to hear from you. And don't forget that you're going to be entered to win. You guys comment and share and all that good stuff so that you can be entered to win a free stencil. But I did iron this surface. You could do this on a t-shirt or on a bag or um, a decorative pillowcase, anything you want like that. It's going to be the same concept, okay? So even if you don't want to do a sleeping pillowcase, you could do this. So what I'm going to do is use these flowers, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make that just really pretty all the way across this little pillowcase. It's going to be fun. If you haven't used these stencils before, you know they have a sticky back to them. It's mesh, so all this inside is not hollow. It's... um. It's got a really fine mesh, so it's almost like a silk screen, you know? I'm just going to start right here on the end, and what I'm going to do is make it to where those little stems basically go off, you know, to the bottom of the pillowcase. And actually, I don't think I got it low enough for how I want it. Do it a little lower. There we go. That's the fun thing, these are repositionable, so you know, if you don't like where you put it, just peel it up and do it again. All right, so I'm gonna put it, try to just really get it a good seal. And then I put that cardboard in the middle so that we don't bleed through. But I'm also going to, sorry, I'm getting oriented here. I'm gonna put this little cardboard, this is the backer that came in the stencil underneath because I don't want it on my table. And I'm a messy painter. I'm going to kind of fold this because I don't need all this extra right now and I don't want it in my way. I need a better workspace. You guys, this is my dining room table and sometimes it's the best place to craft. You know, you got to spread out, make room. So you guys tell me, have you ever made decorative pillowcases before when I got married? 
I gave bridesmaids um, monogrammed pillowcases as one of their little bridesmaid presents. I love pillowcases. I think they're just great gifts. So here's the Jell Art ink I'm going to use. This one's called The Grass is Always Greener. And I have just a little palette that I'm going to put this in. And you guys remember, this doesn't take a lot of paint, okay? Next, what I'm going to do is I have these amazing little brushes that I got from Maker Studio. And instead of using the squeegee, I'm going to use a brush, but you could use the squeegee. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to kind of paint on this. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, make sure you can see, you guys. If y'all have questions, make sure and let me know in the comments. And we will go back and answer those and um, get your questions answered. This is so easy. It makes you look like you're such a pro. That's what I love about these mesh stencils because they're so detailed um, and they're just beautiful designs. And so you can just really take some inexpensive things up a notch. It's a great way when you need to do like bulk gifts at Christmas, like I was saying for like teacher's gifts or something like that. You can buy pillowcases at Walmart for like $5 and Honestly, this is the kind of stuff that's just beautiful that someone would keep in their home. Um, so much nicer than a gift card, right? Gift cards have their place. So you guys make sure you um, comment and say hi. I see you guys. Um, and ask your questions in the comments. I'm just going to make this like a painting. I'm kind of just going over the stems right now. And I'm pushing it through. I'm not pressing really hard, but I am just making sure, you know, that I'm getting into the stencil so that it's going through to the fabric. And, you know, fabric is a little more porous, obviously, than if you were doing a chalk art piece, need a little more paint, um, where you were doing it like on wood or something like that. The fabric's going to a, you know, kind of soak up, I guess, the paint in a little different way than a solid surface would. So we'll show you just a sec what this is going to look like, but this is fun. And don't be afraid, like this does not need to be perfect. You know, you can layer your colors, you can mix one over the other and just get that mixed into there. I want to lift up the edge in just a second just to show you. You don't want to pick your stencil up while you're doing it, but if you do need to just take a peek to make sure you're getting, you know, exactly the coverage and stuff that you want, then feel free to do that because you want to, you, it's hard to go back. Like once you pull the stencil all the way up, it, you really, I don't know that you can reposition in it quite exactly. So make sure you have it how you want it. You got to kind of like look back and say, did I get all the leaves? And once again, this is nature, and that's one of the things. Nature's not perfect, and neither you don't need to be either. So don't forget that one. That's just a life lesson. Life lesson. You guys, tell me if you have used this stencil or if you've used the Gel Art inks. I would love to hear what you've used them on, and let's give some people some ideas. I'm just going to do a little sneaky peek right here so you can see how this is coming along. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna put that back down. Don't recommend doing that, but I wanted to make sure that you guys could see that I'm not pressing hard, I'm not doing anything special, and that paint's just going right where it needs to be. It's nice and crisp, it's really beautiful. So next for the flowers, what I wanted to do was kind of a little, I'm gonna do a little mixed media, oh, not media, but mixed color. So I'm gonna do a little bit of red. This is called Bless His Heart. And this one's called Over Yonder. I love that. I love the names. The names are just, they're cheery. They're happy to me. And um, I'm just gonna do a little bit. So I have my palette. I'm gonna start with the yellow because I think these just look like yellow flowers to me. You guys can do something different if you want. But I'm gonna do, they remind me of little cone flowers or maybe like a little mini sunflower. So I'm going to kind of start off yellow, but we're going to add some dimension and color in there with these. So stick with me. Once again, not perfection. These also have little bees on them. So I think it's a good idea to um, paint those little bees because they're cute. 
Let's see here. I'm leaving the center. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm leaving the center of the flower open. I say open, you know what I mean? Like I'm not putting color on it right this second. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do. You guys ask questions if you have them, but I really think you can have so much fun with this gel art ink. It's so great to make, like if you wanna do a family vacation and make matching t-shirts or pillowcases even. Um, my kids love a holiday pillowcase. Like we have, we have pillowcases that go in their bed at Easter, at Christmas, Halloween. You know, whatever it is you do, you can use those fun stencils to make pillowcases. It's just a fun and inexpensive way to change up your bed without changing the sheets. You can make it all match. All right, so here we go. So I'm blending it a little because it's not going to be perfection. So just kind of getting that paint darker in some spots. Now I'm going to take this red, I'm going to blend it a little bit. I'm going to use that in the center. And when you blend it a little, it kind of comes out a little, I'm going to put a little more yellow. So look, I'm blending it just a little bit and it's coming out like a little orangey. It's so pretty. So don't be afraid to mix your colors, guys. You know, you don't have to stick to just what comes out of the tube. Just add a little and just play with it. Have fun with it. Be fearless. You guys, it's a pillowcase. You really can't go that crazy wrong with it. So we're just going to do that little sweet orange, like sunny, bright color in the middle. I'm not doing exact to the middle. I'm going to show you what it looks like in just a sec. So this is going to be the color that's going to be heavy in the middle. Is this orangey color. But we're going to highlight it a little. Just color. Okay, so now I want a little dark, darker red. I'm just gonna kinda, I don't know, just put that through a little bit and it'll have some spots where it's a little darker. Just bring that color out through those little flowers. Looks like the little wildflowers here in Texas. I don't know if you guys have that where you are, but we have most beautiful wildflowers in Texas. They're one of my favorite things and I think that's probably why I like this stencil a lot is because it just reminds me of them. You could also layer the different greens. You could add some red to the flowers, to the leaves or whatever, just to add a little depth. Don't be afraid of it, you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, painted on this side. I know it's upside down, but you can see that in the middle, I just mix the colors so it flows out, kind of like that ombre feel. So just look at that. And I'm gonna peel it off. And it's very sweet. I really love it. Okay, so my beads didn't come out as good as I would like. I wish I would have gone back and done those maybe in a black, so just FYI. But this is what this looks like so far. All right, now, if you're doing this alone at home, you've got some options here. You can rinse your stencil and make sure you let this dry. I'm gonna kind of overlap my stencils and I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick and then we're gonna talk about the rest of this pillow. So give me two seconds. I just don't wanna mess up my design. doesn't take that long to dry. All right, there's not going to be a ton of overlap on this stencil, but what I want to do is take this and then I want to just mix it where it does blend a little bit. And you can definitely wash your stencil, like I said, and start all over, but if you're pretty careful, you can get another use or two out of it like this without um, 
washing it. Sometimes it'll make your design underneath a little less, less crisp. But since I'm gonna kind of do the same pattern again, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna just press it down with this paper towel because I think the ink on there is still a little bit uh, wet and I don't wanna get it on my hands. So just gonna help me smooth it out really nicely. And we're gonna paint a little more. I'm gonna try to do this quick. And I'm only going to do two patterns um, on this video, but I will post pictures. I will get you some pictures of what it looks like, but I don't want to totally bore you. I just wanted to show you the overlap so you can kind of get this idea. Find my green again. You guys, if you're just hopping on, say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me if you've ever tried the Gel Art ink. We're actually working with the grass is always greener, over yonder, and bless his heart. These are red, yellow, and greens that we're working with today. The Gel Art ink is permanent, so um, it's perfect for fabrics, t-shirts, bags, um, pillowcases, all kinds of fun crafts. You can come up with some really creative stuff um, and have fun with this. So I'm just, I did not get enough. Just pushing this through, the stencil with the flowers doing the um, green stems. And really, you can get as detailed or as basic as you want to with these stencils. If you just wanted to make this all one color, by all means, you could do that. If you wanna get really detailed and add in some different layers and browns and greens and you know whatever, you could do that too. That's kind of what's so fun. Like I said, it makes you feel like you're like, like this really legit artist when it's almost like, Coloring in the lines, I guess. I don't know. It'll make people think you're a fancy painter. That's all I know. I had a, a pillow that I did with one of these stencils, with the bee stencil. Um, it's that really beautiful bee. It's got the wreath around it. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite stencils. And I mean, I think people just think, oh my gosh, how did you do that? They're just amazed by it because it looks, it looks so difficult and I'm all about making things look harder than they were, not while I'm doing them, but afterwards, because then it looks like you're really got it going on. You know what you're doing, you know? So there's that. We have our green done. And we're going to put our yellow on these pretty little flowers. So these are already off the bat, you know, kind of um, blending a little bit more than the last one because it's got paint already on the stencil. You might definitely want to wash. I would say you could get one, two stamps out of this, kind of. Um, and then I would wash this stencil before I move down the line, just because the paint will dry in the mesh, and you don't want that to happen because it's not going to let the paint go through, and it's not going to let your design be you know, quite what you want it to be. Um, and you just need to keep your stencils clean. That's how you keep them healthy. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but it, it's just the way that you take good care of your stencils so that you will be able to use them repeatedly because you can use these stencils, you know, over and over and over. But if the paint dries in there and gets all clogged, you're going to have a much harder time. So be good to your stencils, wash them frequently. I'm going to do a little bit of the inside, make some of that pretty orange color. You know, just remember your basic artwork, like what colors yellow and red make orange and red and blue make purple. You know, you got options here on paint colors. So don't think that just because you only have a couple of colors that you're super limited in your projects, you're not. You just have to mix and match and play around with it. And that's part of the fun of the crafts, guys, is just trying something new. All right, so there's the center. I'm gonna dab this one a little bit more. Put a little bit of that red and that wreath. I love that. I just think that's what nature looks like. Nature's a mix and match kind of thing. Put a little of the bright red. Okay. The one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, 
I'm going to try a little black on this B and see if that turns out better so that I can show you guys and make sure that you know the best way to do um, your stencil without, you know, messing up like I did. The yellow just really did not show very well. So we're going to see if this works better. There's two little bees up here on this, and I love them. They're cute. If you can hear a really weird squawking in the background, that would be my chicken. One of my chickens. She yells like that when she stops laying eggs. So, <laughs> she's out there squealing. It's funny. All right, so I'm going to take this off. If you guys want to see one more time what it looks like, kind of the before and after. Ta-da! Oh, I think it's so pretty. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely do your bees in the black. It looks so much better. I might go back once this is all dry and go over that. You can also, you guys, like if you want to do the black and then go back with your yellow, you can still paint straight on your fabric without having to use the stencil. So you can add some color to these bees. Look how easy that was. I just dotted that on. And now I've got these little honeybees that are so cute. All right, so what I would like to do is, you know, do this whole base border with this stencil, but then I'm going to take the top. All right, and what I'm going to do is because I don't want to get any of that paint on my pillowcase in any spot that I should not, I'm going to block off the part that I just used. Stick that on, on back on this little sticky part using the paper towel. All right, because now what I want to do, I just want this part to show because I'm going to use that right here in the middle. So the best way for me that I know to find the middle is to kind of just fold my pillowcase over. Try to do this without. I should have done this before I started. I'm holding this to find center, you know, just fold it in half. Okay, so I found the center of my pillowcase. I should have marked that off beforehand, before I started. That would have been the smart thing to do. I'm eyeballing it. All right, here's the middle. Lay it out nice and flat. Make sure you're all straight. You have a great work surface. All right, here's my middle. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it right there above our cute little design. It helps you guys if you're using tape measures, if you want to be really accurate, it helps to stand back and look over it. I'm kind of eyeballing it. I'm very much not a perfectionist. It is not a strong suit of mine by any stretch. So, I think, I think I'm going to do this in black. I'm kind of making this up as I go. And I think I want to put this You Are My Sunshine um, in the black. The black is called Can't Never Could. The black gel art ink. I'm going to use that, especially since I just added it to the bees as a little touch. I'm just going to use it. I think it's going to be pretty. And just paint it on there. You could use, because this is an open spot, you could definitely use a squeegee. It might be a little easier actually. Let me see if I can just paint this on there and then I'll squeegee it. That might be a good call because it's a larger spot and it's all the same color. You just got to figure out which tool you works for which space best. And what I want to tell you about the gel art ink is that you are going to heat set this. Okay. So once you get done with your design, let it dry. It needs to dry for like four hours to get good and dry. And then once it's dry, you're going to want to heat set it with an iron. And to do that, you need to cover it with some fabric. 
you could use like a thin dish towel or something like that. Cover your fabric and just lightly go over it with the, with the um, iron. It needs to get pretty hot for about a minute. Make sure you test your fabric first. Don't use heat that's too hot for whatever fabric surface you're using. But that's gonna be how you heat set your design. And then you can wash it in the wash and all that good stuff, just like normal. Okay, so I used a little squeegee to spread that. I just can't believe how accurate and pretty these stencils are. They literally just don't look like something that you made at home, you guys. This is so cute. So I'm gonna finish the border. Another thing that would be cute is to put a pattern down this side. You could paint stripes or polka dots or some kind of coordinating pattern on the edge of your pillowcase. Um, you could sew some fabric on the um, side that just matched to have a really just all over amazingly cute, cute look. This is precious. It would make a fabulous gift and it's so much fun. So you just need a couple supplies. Grab yourself the You Are My Sunshine stencil, a couple of gel art inks and some brushes and squeegees and you are good to go and you can sit in like assembly line pillowcases all day. It'll be so much fun. I hope that you enjoyed this project. Um, again, my name is Kim and I blog at Salvaged Living. I'd love to have you follow me over on Facebook or Instagram or the blog. I have a mercantile. I have the Salvage Society, which is like a thrift hunting group where we go thrift hunting and all that information is on my page. But most of all, I just hope that you enjoy this project and that you shared it with somebody so you can be entered to win a free stencil. And you guys come back, keep looking for more um, fun projects here on Maker Studio. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye.